You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good Monday to you, Dan. How are you? I'm just fine. How was your weekend there, Smalls? It's good. I forgot what the show was called half halfway through that. Yeah. It's- <laughs> So everything honky dory in Smallville? Yeah. Absolutely. Other than I'm losing my mind. Other than that, it's great. Yeah, John's only been doing this for over a decade, and yeah. yet he still gets completely lost with the I elements do. we use every single every day. Every day. Well, and then I, I go ahead and I change something. Boy, that's a big mistake. Because then I, I, it's hard to get used to the change. So. It sure is. Can you believe Reba McIntyre is 67 today? Very nice. Wow. Happy birthday, still pleasure, looking fantastic. Uh, the pleasure of meeting Reba. Nice. I've got her signature on a guitar. Very cool. Uh, you know, she has sold over 75 million albums worldwide. That's a lot of albums. That's a stack. That man. is a lot of albums. And Minneapolis homeboy. Like this guy. Actor Vince Vaughn is 52 today. I like him too. Yeah, did you know he was on the Twin Cities? I did not. Yeah. I love him. Minneapolis born and raised. I know yeah. several people who've met him and they say he's just the nicest oh, dude. Oh, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh, Vince is the greatest guy ever. And Stephanie Germanata. Don't know. Thirty six today. Sure you do. We call her Lady Gaga. Oh. Mm-hmm. She doesn't look like a Stephanie. Well, she I was, is. I was expecting her name to be something like Lady. That's, <laughs> that's what she calls herself, John. Oh, that's that's why I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> 1866. We were just kids. This was a huge day, actually. Yeah. 1866. The first ambulance goes into service. In conjunction with Commercial Hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. Very cool. Yeah. One day later, the first lawyer chasing the ambulance goes into service. <laughs> 1861. Everything's got to start somewhere. And when I stumble over it, it's like, okay, here we go. 1891, the first official World Weight Lifting Championship takes place in London, England. Hmm. Edward Lawrence of Britain. Takes home the hardware hmm. when he lifts more and heavier stuff than other people who were lifting stuff. <laughs> Thank you for the details, Dan. I, I dig deep. 1885, great organization. U.S. Salvation Army officially organizes. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is a great organization. Yeah, they've been doing business uh, in this country for 137 years. Yeah. Do you realize with, with weather stuff and just tragedy and everything else, fires, uh, they assist well over 20 million Americans every year. Wow. Over 20 million. Is the average. Hmm. Yeah. You want to give them a spiff? We've got a Sioux Falls uh, office right up there on North Cliff. So. They're good folks there, too. There you go. I know. You know. We all know. We just bounce forward. Going to do that. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price. Plus, you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220, and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer, 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Our bright spot of news today, we're going to talk with Kim, and she is with the VFW Auxiliary. How are you doing, Kim? I'm fine, thank you. And you guys have got something uh, really cool that you do every year, but the deadline is sneaking up this Thursday, so let's talk about this for people who want to maybe get involved. Right. We have a lot of scholarship information uh, for students. We have art contests for grades K through 8 called Illustrating America. We have a creative patriotic art contest for high school students. And we also have anybody that's a singer, and I know you're listening to the radio, so you've got to have somebody that sings that grades K through 12 singing the red, the national anthem and get excited about the red, white, and blue. So these are all national scholarship programs, so they can win money locally, they can win money at the state, and they can also win money nationally. And this is a really neat thing, and I love it when young people get involved because when they get involved locally, and like like you were saying, they can also move on to the regional and to the national. Um, it, it's, it's just a really great thing for a great opportunity for them 
the prize is great, but right. just the involvement is so wonderful. Right. It gives kids their, their opportunity to just stand up and show that their patriotism and what, you know, their forefathers and their, their former veterans and their families mean to them. And like I said, like this creative patriotic art, it's got a $15,000 scholarship. Yeah. So, I mean, if you have any, you can go online to vfwauxiliary.org and they've got the winners from the previous years so you can see what the different art projects have been. It's really quite amazing that the talent that some of these young kids have. If somebody is interested in being involved in this locally, do they go to that website, vfw.org, or is there a different one they would go to to get involved locally? They can go to the vfwauxiliary.org and, and get the website there. They can contact um, the auxiliary, uh, the post office here in Sioux Falls, and um, we can get them the forms from that. Very nice. Um, also, they can email um, auxiliary at vfw628.org. Very, very nice. Well, thank you for doing what you guys do. And again, we, we had an opportunity to, to meet up at a, a really fun event over the weekend, Stand Up for Women Veterans. Thank you for being a part of that. Yep, thank you. It, you know, it's been a great year because our state VFW commander and our state VFW auxiliary president this year, their theme is about women veterans and their, their theme is stand up and reach out or speak up and reach out. So they are, you know, gearing it towards the women veterans. So this was a great year to, to begin this program for us. Well, it's a really neat thing and again anybody listening who would like to learn more about the different scholarship opportunities and like I said the prizes are great yep but even if you don't win just being involved in it and the process to me is just as important as the prize absolutely it's very very meaningful when you see the kids that submit their app their um Entries. projects yeah. yeah their entries that they just have put so much thought into it and let's talk about the different opportunities again because thursday is the deadline so what are the different opportunities between now and thursday we have two different art contests one for k grades k through eight and one for grades nine through twelve and then we also have the get excited about the red white and blue which is singing the national anthem and that's for grades k through twelve very nice thank you so much for doing what you do thank you i appreciate your if time. you if you'd like to learn more v vfwauxiliary.org again vfwauxiliary.org and I'll also throw a link to this information at facebook.com slash sunny radio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out stopboxusa.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. Stopbox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopboxUSA.com. You need to check out StopboxUSA.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Monday? The law and order. Who wants to go down south? Oh, yeah. The story, I do. There, too. The story is just crazy. We're going to Cartersville, Georgia. Okay. It was New Year's Eve 2017. Okay. Well, it's New Year's Eve. There are parties going sure. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes those parties get a little loud. Local police, Cartersville PD, responds to a noise complaint, mm -hmm. enters the house, and you know what they found? A snake. New no. little tiny baggie of Mary Jane. Ooh. Uh -oh. The devil's lettuce, marijuana, pot yeah. dope. That's illegal. Mm-hmm. It was under an ounce. Okay. Well, officers wanted to know who those drugs belong to. <laughs> Nobody came clean. It's like, huh. they aren't mine, officer. It's not mine, officer. It's huh. not mine. Well, let's do this then. They arrested everybody in the house. 64 there people. There we go. 64 people. <laughs> everybody arrested. at the party was arrested. All of them owned a piece of that. Uh, well, nobody was uh, copping to it. And again, it was under an ounce of marijuana. I love this so much. And unfortunately, that uh, particular jail really wasn't set up to handle that many people. People at the same time. Yeah. Uh, some of the cells were so cold, some of these party goes literally wrapped themselves in toilet paper. No kidding. Some were put in solitary confinement and just kind of forgot about. What? Yeah, well, and then 12 days later. 12 days they were in solitary? No. Oh, 12 okay. days later, <laughs> all the charges were dismissed. Okay. But uh, they lawyered up. Yeah. And it's just come to fruition. It's just come to an end. What yeah. happened? This was 2017. That happened in 2017? Yep. Did Please. they all get charged? Yeah. That's sweet. Yep. <laughs> well, lady, he's telling the story if you'd listen. 
I was listening. Now, they the police, were all arrested. The police department and the county has agreed to pay everyone arrested, 64 people, $1.2 million. Total, not Total, each. Total, right, to split. That boils down to uh, 18750 bucks a well, piece. Well, that doesn't seem right. They were all there in the wrong. And nobody um, but said who it belonged to. Maybe it's a tiny amount of marijuana. Well, tiny still. amount. And they were thrown in jail, some in they solitary. They broke the law. The law is the law. Uh-huh. Why don't you get back to typing whatever you were <laughs> typing over there, Heidi? Yeah, let me look up if they have capital punishment in Georgia. <laughs> That'd be awesome. No, whatever the, the punishment is for possession of that particular thing should be their punishment. But I, I see both sides of this. I see where you're coming from. I mean, from. even growing up in high school, I always knew if I was at a party and something like that was there, get the heck out because if the cops come, I was going to be in trouble. Wow. So I would leave. Who lit her fuse? <laughs> I'm just saying. You woke her up halfway through the story, which is funny. Follow the yeah. law. Yeah. Listening. Yeah. First half, she's, I don't know what she's typing. Maybe her resume. No, she, was, <laughs> sure. she was chin down drooling, actually. She was. You're working on something out Not there. Not at all. <laughs> just follow the law. Halfway through the story, it's like, they all get arrested? Okay. Officers oh, are them. just doing their jobs, and I appreciate <laughs> them for it. Tiny amount of dope. They can't prove possession. Arrest everybody. I'm going, <laughs> we probably have better use of our time and taxpayer dollars. <laughs> they literally didn't just imagine make... the report. Yeah, yeah, if I'm wearing a gun and a badge, I'm going to go, you know what? Just keep <laughs> it down. Say <laughs> how long they were in the Hooskow uh, there? Well, it was overnight. Okay. At least overnight. Yeah, you got to spend the night, man. No, well, you got to get I'm not, sprung, son. I'm not saying that either side was right, but boy, I think that the wrong on that uh, one, one point two million dollars. It sounds like a big payout for what happened. I think so I don't know too, the details. but whatever. And I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am not a lawyer or a judge. So I don't know all the details. <laughs> well, apparently, some, some not great things happened <laughs> at the jail to some of these people. Uh, so. uh, so didn't tell me that. I, I, you know what? I do the best I can with Ladies you two. And of the jury. <laughs> Honest to God, I don't. It's like talking to a rock. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm going to give you some of the details. And you just go ahead and make it's it like I'm a kindergarten teacher. Man. <laughs> it kind of feels that way. Heidi and I both have ADD. Some days. She's no based kidding. off typing a resume. I, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually replying to a client in an email. Uh-huh, so. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Can you thank Dan for coming in, Heidi? Thank you, Dan. Oh, whatever. Hey, Dan, thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. 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 <laughs> it is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, March 28th, 2022. Equities extended their rebound last week, but the move already appears to be losing momentum. The S&P 500 index topped out just above the 4,500 level, and with MACD and Stochastic indicating overbought conditions. Without a new catalyst, and with much of last week's action driven by short covering, it does not look like the index can move much higher. The next target for resistance is at 4,600, and it may be reached this week. This week, the market will be bracing for another round of important economic data, including the PCE price index and the NFP report Friday. The PCE price index is expected to produce another hot figure, if not an acceleration from the previous month. In either case, the data is expected to increase the odds of a 50 basis point interest rate hike in the next FOMC meeting. The NFP report will be important as well, but more so for the wage data and how it impacts the overall inflation picture. You can get the inside track at marketbeatminute.com.